everyone today we're creating a responsive landing page it's a must have but can be tricky i'll show you how to make it easy with auto layout ready let's get started all right let's start with the hero section grab the frame tool and draw a frame this will be our image holder now let's hit t for the text tool draw a text box and paste some dummy text like lauren ipsum then hit shift a to apply auto layout i'm gonna add a background color make the frame a bit bigger and tweak the left padding to 20 pixels now let's resize the frame to see how auto layout works oh the text isn't budging let's switch the frames width to hug content see how it highlights the content it's hugging then set text width to fill container this time it highlights the container it's filling now the text stretches to fill the frame and frame hugs the text no matter the size rename this text background to stay organized I'm gonna run the Unsplash plugin to insert an image and rename this frame to image. Okay, I'm gonna grab the frame tool, hover over text background a frame, hold option of alt and click the plus button to create a blank frame with the same size. Let's rename it text box now drag text background into text box set the position to center and adjust the size i'm gonna change the frame color to show what's happening set the left padding to zero pixel increase the right padding to around 95 pixels and switch the width to hug contents now select the text background and set the width to fill container let's remove the color for a transparent look to wrap the hero section let's select all objects hit shift a for auto layout and set the gap to minus 40 pixels to stack text box on top of image and rename it hero section let's test it oops something's off i'm gonna set the hero section width to high contents then command click to grab text box and switch it to fill container perfect let's move to the block section I'm gonna draw a rectangle and duplicate it four times. Let's select all, shrink them a bit. Mm, looking good. Then hit Shift A for auto layout. Let's rename it block section and set the alignment to wrap. Okay, let's check it out. See, there's too much empty space. Let's set the frame width to high contents select all rectangles and set their width to fill container then check it again because we told figma that we need this container to hug contents and all contents should fit it they will shrink as much as they can but there's something cool in the width property we have the minimum width option let's set it to 152 pixels it tells the rectangles that they can shrink to fit the container but cannot go under 152 let's set the minimum width for all four and see what happens oh we need to set the alignment to top center now it works perfectly finally let's place a desktop frame in the canvas drag all objects into it rename it landing page and hit shift a for auto layout let's set the hero section and block section width to fill container and resize it oh, 
too small. Let's add a minimum width of 393 pixels. Center the alignment and apply the same minimum width to block section. Select the landing page and adjust the padding. To fix the text, let's set text box height to hot content to resize the background and show all the text. Also, let's adjust the landing page padding and reduce the gap a bit. Good. I'm gonna select all the rectangles, run the unsplash plugin again to insert random pictures. And that's it, a fully responsive landing page. If you found this tutorial helpful, please consider subscribing. Thanks for joining me. Until next time, elevate and create.